Listen, I am no mental health expert, hell, I'm not even a licensed therapist or psychologist. What I am is that I am a mental health advocate and I speak out when I see somebody consistently stigmatizing mental health and mental illness. And trust me, when starting this video and making this video and editing this video, I am of no delusion that Keemstar will face any consequences for his actions because in his own words, he's pretty much untouchable. I doxed him. What are you gonna do about it? And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. If you think my career is gonna be ruined or hurt in any way for what I just said on this show and what I've admitted to, you're crazy. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I do is sometimes I take a look at the YouTube community and I do some commentary on it and I try to see what lessons we can learn. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, some of you requested to follow up on the Etika story. Um, I made a video about it yesterday and yeah, this is a, a difficult situation and the purpose of this video is, is twofold. I wanna explain, because there was a lot of questions around why Etika was released so quickly, I wanna explain that so some of you understand the mental health system. Um, I worked at an addiction treatment center that also specialized in mental health for about three years. So I want people to understand what happens if a loved one goes in and things like that, all right? But then obviously I do wanna talk about the Keemstar situation because there was a ton of stuff going on, on over on Twitter that is extremely problematic. And last week I kept my mouth shut about the whole situation, but I am happy that people like um, the Aspie world made a video about Keemstar talking about how social anxiety is fake and it's just for attention and it's trendy and everything like that. Go check out the Aspie world. Dan is an awesome dude. He talks about Asperger's and autism and all that stuff. Driven Industries also made a video in response to Keemstar star and what he was doing last week all right but anyways etika if for some reason you ever see this man i i hope the best for you and i hope you get the help that you need all right man but anyways so yeah etika was released um yesterday after you know um the cops coming out and the emts coming out first thing i want to talk about please 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 quit spreading misinformation etika was not swatted okay there is swatting and then there is a wellness check these are two very different things swatting is done with malice okay somebody has terrible intentions they're doing it out of complete spite and it is calling out a SWAT team with some fake information that people are in danger, all right? Like in the sense that somebody like killed somebody in that house. So they are coming in full force, guns a blazing, all right? But a wellness check, a wellness check is done out of concern. And this is something that I just, I will keep talking about this until the day I die because if you know somebody who you feel is mentally unstable and might be uh, uh, of harm to themselves or others, call a wellness check. What this is, is the police, maybe some EMTs, will show up at that person's house to check in on them. That is what happened to Etika. And I explained this all in my video yesterday. But please, please, please understand that there is a major difference between swatting and a wellness check, all right? So anyways, uh, Etika was detained, he was brought in, and um, yeah, he was released not that long later. Uh, I had some messages and some comments about it, and I went and I checked it out, and he had a post that, um, you know, he showed his release paperwork that he was released. So they said that, you know, he had agitation, um, which is kind of like a, a blanket kind of statement. Basically, what that is, it's saying that the person doesn't really have like a, a psychotic episode or anything going on. Maybe they were just agitated, all right? But here's what I want people to understand, because a lot of people are curious, like, how can somebody who just had this like, you know, huge fiasco happen, how are they released so quickly, okay? So you have hospitals with psychiatric units, okay? And then you have actual psych wards and psych hospitals, okay? So Etika was taken to an actual hospital with a psychiatric unit, okay? And in those, they are pretty much just moving people out, moving people out, moving people out. And if you go in there and you pretty much tell them that you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, and you're not going to harm yourself, you're not gonna harm anyone else, they're just gonna move you along. But 
if you went to an actual psych hospital, like they are going to keep you for about 72 hours. They are going to hold you for 72 hours regardless of what you say. If you say you're fine or whatever it is, like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, she worked at a psych hospital for a few years and like it, it is not something where you're gonna get out of. Like, so for example, I worked at a drug and alcohol rehab center we had an inpatient where we had doctors, nurses, all that kind of stuff. Like, you could leave if you wanted to. Like, it was it was totally up to you. Like, you went in there at your own discretion, and like, you know, even though like your family might force you in or the judge might force you in, like, you could leave. Like, we didn't have like big old bodyguards who were gonna like tackle you and keep you from leaving. But at an actual psych hospital, they might do that, all right? So that is the difference between the two. That is one of the reasons why Etika was released so soon, all right? So anyways, during this whole situation, Keemstar was taunting uh, Etika, making fun of Etika. Keemstar even made a tweet saying like, oh, he's my friend, you know? And that is such a cop-out. But anyways, he, he then decided to interview Etika yesterday night when Etika was released. And like, let me tell you this, after watching somebody go through that entire ordeal, that entire episode, be detained, be brought into a hospital, get released, right? All these things going on. And for Keemstar to say, you know what? Now is a perfect time for an interview, in my opinion, is absolutely disgusting okay like etika is a grown-ass man and everything like that but in my opinion it shouldn't have been done all right like just based on like my personal morals like that is a terrible situation like you don't you don't do that and then basically keemstar was tweeting taunting Etika even more, saying how Etika like rage quit the interview and Keemstar was talking about how he, he left the interview because he called him weak. And it's absolutely insane to me. And again, I'm of no delusion that any consequences are going to come Keemstar's way. That dude's brand is being a bully and an a-hole. That's who he is, that's what he is. And many, many people are scared of him. Like, a bunch of videos were just made about how Keemstar was getting people to help him dox another YouTuber, and Keemstar is still on this platform, just running rampant and doing his own thing. But I think, again, it's important to talk about these things. Just, if you care about mental health, we need to talk about these things, all right? So even though consequences may not come his way, like, I want you to think about, like, in your own life and who's dealing with mental health struggles and what are the right ways and wrong ways. Like, yesterday I talked about how the people, like, gassing up Etika in his live stream was absolutely terrible, absolutely disgusting. But we see Keemstar where, you know, uh, last year, last summer, when FouseyTube was going through his episode and all of that Keemstar's like bing you know and he's like oh let's do a whole documentary on this and let's follow FouseyTube around when the dude was clearly not in the right state of mind and now Keemstar is doing this to Etika which is absolutely brutal and again like I am not of the belief that people struggling with mental health issues to a certain extent can't take care of themselves like if you're struggling with mild forms of like depression anxiety trauma whatever it is like you can make your own decisions you can do your own thing like that's one of the debates that's going on right now with britney spears like does she need a conservator you know because of her mental health state you know what i mean so like i wouldn't want somebody thinking that i'm just some poor little baby who can't make my own decisions because of my own issues with um, mental illness, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to Etika, in my opinion, this is not a mild thing that's going on. The dude was threatening suicide within the last week, all right? And he's been um, brought to one of these facilities multiple times within the last month. This is somebody where I look at it and just from an outsider's perspective, I can't help but think like, where is this dude's friends and family, you know? And I know there's only so much we can do to help somebody who's struggling with mental health issues. Um, like you saw yesterday um, from Etika's live stream and everything, 
it's not the easiest task to help somebody get help, you know, especially when they're not in the right state of mind. But I sit here, I'm like, dude, where, where's this guy's family? Where's this guy's friends? So for all of you out there who might have a loved one who is struggling with these things, like talk to mental health professionals, talk to therapists, talk to psychologists, talk to, talk to psychiatrists, talk to doctors, see what your options are. But this is a prime example about how people with mental health issues are not given the adequate treatment all the time. And that is something that I find an issue with. I know the arguments, you know, on the other side, like if somebody says they're fine, you got to release them. But in my opinion, there are certain amounts of evidence where somebody should be held at a 72 hour hold. All right. But the, one of the issues is, is once you're 18 or older, like a lot of that becomes a problem. But if you're a parent and you have a kid who's acting, you know, a little erratic, like you can get them into a facility without their consent. All right. But anyways, I might do a follow up. Keemstar said he's releasing the interview today and absolutely awful. So I might review that and give my thoughts and opinions on it. But anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation down in the comments below. Again, Etika, if you see this, hearts with you, man. Thoughts are with you. Try to get help. I'm here for you if you need to reach out, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here, become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A, all that stuff, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.